it's um, it's very we are very proud. Uh, we are very linked to to our family and to our land. So it was uh, since uh, our estate was there, this land was there until 1758 with grand grandfather, and um, my father took after his father in '64 and he started making wine and bottling the wine. Before it was a little bit different. It was a farm. There was the grape, but there was cattle, and there was everything. Really a normal farm at that age. Um, for us, uh, it's very important. So we are. When my father took after his father, he was still working in the same way, still farming the land, the vineyard, in the same way as his father was doing. So what we will call biological now. Uh, so that means no chemicals, no pesticides, no herbicides. Just because he was saying, I live there with my family, I don't want to empower my family, myself, and the land where, where I'm living. So. Uh, for us, we are very proud of this because we have a very um, healthy land. We we live uh, in a small, of, in a in a piece of privileged uh, land with all the, the the pesticide and everything around. So uh, that's the very important thing. The land owns us, so we are very linked to to our land, and we respect it. A lot, and we we feel this this root very very deep with with our area with our land. Then, so that's what we are carrying on from our grandfathers. Then, of course, in the cellar and the vinification, many things have changed. Uh, technology, first of all, but as I was saying, we are so we are we know we are very linked to to tradition. Uh, so you still have the. The, the smell, the, the nose, you can feel the, the nose of the Moscato during the harvest when, when I was a kid. So it's something that is really um, deep in, in our memory and uh, so we, we have to, to preserve that and we want to keep doing, trying to do our best to preserve that. <laughs> Traditional skills uh, with uh, 